one year we had a storm and it blew in thousands of giant driftwood pieces these are pretty cool and this is why we're here crabs I really enjoy coming down to the coast whether I'm just walking on the beaches or fishing or crabbing this time of year or even stopping and looking at the history that the coastal towns have it's always so peaceful but yeah all right enough talking let's go see the yurt here we are yurt went ahead and unlocked it you get your light and then you get your deck light as well outside here it is you got a bunk bed looks to be like a full and then a single you got a little table the windows are open and then you got this that uh, folds down there you go like that i didn't end up recording much the first day i got there i unpacked um, everything ate some food and went to bed so we'll just jump to the next day good morning just woke up got dressed i'm gonna get get some breakfast in me and then i'm gonna go down and catch some crabs hopefully Got the cage, got the ring, got my crab bag. And uh, just finishing breakfast, gonna head out. Got one right here. And I got one tossed off this side as well. Legal one, and he dropped his claw when I picked him up. Oh, there is two small ones. All right, I'm gonna move this one. We've been getting some good size keepers out of here. There's a tie up right here. Might as well check this one as well. Let's see. Come on. Give us another good one. Oh. That one's too small. Yeah, it's gonna be too small. So far we've got two off this corner. I didn't record the first one because I really didn't expect to catch one so soon. But I'll go to the ice chest and show you. Two of them. Pretty decent size as well. Gonna go check the coat. Been just waiting like 10 minutes. 5-10 minutes. See how impatient I am before I pull it. And small one. Oops. Little guy. See you later, buddy. The wind's starting to pick up a little bit. I I wanted to try throwing it over here, but I don't want the undertow from the wind or the waves suck it because you can see the difference really rough here and the wind block here but you never know I might try oh get some trash go ahead and pick that up look at these look at these little baby crabs 
they're all dead but they're just everywhere like, go along the sand beaches too they're just scattered everywhere it's pretty crazy pick up trash oh Huh. Let's see. Looks like it might be a little small, but we'll see. Female. Throw it back off this side. Stay away from my trap. All right. Back to waiting. Jellyfish, it's just swimming around. Oh, uh, let's hope that's a male because that's going to be a keeper, I'm pretty sure. Please, 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 please. Let's see. Come on. Come on, please. Please. Dang. Female. That was a wreck that day. Dang, man. All right. Let's see. Try again. There's a seal, a harbor seal that's been out here all day. Just laying, laying on his back, floating around, soaking the sun up. It's pretty funny. Oh, there he goes. Let's see if I can't get close enough to him. He's looking right at me. Hi. Oh, there he goes. It's uh, currently, let's see, 312. And uh, I think maybe about four o'clock, I'll call it, head back to camp. All right, I think, I think we got a keeper. Easily. Wow, he's six and a fourth almost. Keeper male. Right on that with his buddies. Cool. Almost gave up. I was I was about to pull that trap in and head home as well. So that's crazy. Got him. Look at that shadow. Back to the rim. Alright, we're back at the yurt, and here's the haul, got three, I iced them so they're all dead now, big size too, I'm gonna go ahead and take them over here, there's a, there's a water spigot, I'm gonna clean them up. Pop their head off their carapace and exposes all their lungs and mouth and stuff. And you can just take it and crack it in half and flick it out. And little bits like this pick out the gills, peel the mouth off. And they clean up pretty well. Got one half. Like that. Two more to do. 
some people cook them whole and they eat all this fat or whatever it is that boils down but not me it's pretty gross if you ask me I got this leftover boil seasoning that I put together from the crawfish. <laughs> got a little, got a little moisture in it, but it should be fine. It'll break down when it starts boiling. Got some corn cut up as well that I'm gonna throw in there. They should be pretty good. Gonna cut some garlic up, melt some butter, put some lemon in it for a dipping sauce. I already started boiling, so I'm gonna throw the corn in. Let that sit for like maybe three minutes, and then I'm gonna throw in the crab. All right, this has been boiling for a couple minutes here, so I'll go ahead and drop the crab in. A little lonely claw. Rest of the shrimp in there. Gonna go ahead and mix it up. Give it a couple more minutes. This is coming back up to a boil. And it's about done, so I'm gonna get the butter ready. Get all that garlic. Some lemon, a little bit more. Gonna put it all in this little pan. Looks good. Nice. There we go. Got the butter. Sweet. I'm gonna let it cool down. And then I'm gonna try it. Looks so good. And the shrimps too. Already pre-veined and stuff. Much better that way, if you ask me. You know there's a little there's one little claw floating around here somewhere. Let's see. Alright. <laughs> Best thing I could find was can opener. It's dirty, but hopefully. Hopefully. This right here will crack it. I think it should. This one sounds hollow. Ah, a little baby piece of meat in that one. Alright. So good. Wow. The other piece, there it is. Got like the knuckle right there. Oh, there we go. Pull that little piece off. Dip it in some butter. So good, man. This one was pretty, pretty hollow, pretty empty, but. A good little piece. Look at that. So good. All right. Finish this off and start a fire. Just about cleared it out. You see all the plates of the shell. But man, like, look at these knuckles. There's so much meat just right in the knuckle. It's late. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Good night. That's it. 
Got everything packed up. I'm ready to head out. Nice. All right. I'm gonna go down to the pier now, and uh, yeah, see if we can get them. When I made it down to the water, it was super cold, really foggy, and I just didn't feel like it that morning. So this is where I ended it. And if you enjoy, subscribe. You can see more videos like this. And comment below what else you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.